G'day guys, Hector back again, once again for the same day, um, second motor review, same day. This time it's for my RC Mart again with their RCX series. This time we're looking at a 1407 for the micro classes, um, 150 ish size. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay. So. Here we have the RCX 1407 series motor, 3,200 kV. And um, so far, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with this. They've gone the same sort of style as they did with their 2205, um, you know, including the, the prop adapter on the bell, um, Eclipse. It, it, it's, it's in the same style. However, being so much smaller, I actually think these are going to be quite stronger, a lot stronger as far as um, crashing goes, durability wise, and then the 2205 series, just because of the size of the things, and the amount of weight, um, the amount of meat that's on them, so uh, pretty damn cute little motor, one thing I will note that when turning this, it's for me initially very difficult to tell if it's got any bad bearings, or if any of them had bad bearings, because um, all I can feel is magnet, like, because it's such a small motor, and, you know, the magnets are so big and stuff, like, each turn is just predominantly the motor cogging, and it's like, just wow, that's, um, I guess the bearings are so small, the magnets are so big, it's hard to tell, but I'll give you a bit of a look at what I mean there, we'll, um, we'll tear this apart, and you can have a bit of a look, now, they also sent me a little PDB with, with some of these motors, uh, I think I've seen this one around before, so I think it's just like something that's been produced and then um, rebranded left, right and centre, but yeah, it looks alright, got your 12 and your 5 volt regs on there, so we'll, we'll have a look at that as well later. Um, but in any case, let's first get this motor apart quickly, I didn't want to spend too much time on this video because I mean it's only, it's a small motor. There's not much to it. Eclip comes off nice and simple still. We all know how much I love Eclips. Um, shove that in the bag so I don't lose it. Oop, it fell out of the hole. That's always good. Okay. In a bag so I don't lose the Eclip. Apart with the motor. Now. Yeah. Yes, they have been balanced. There's our blue gook. And, um, but look at the, the size of these bearings. They're like freaking tiny. Um, I don't know, what are they, like 5 mil or something? I don't know, yeah, they're about a 5 mil by 2, so we've got a 2 mil shaft. So 5 by 2 by, I don't know, like 3, I guess bearing that's in there it's a pretty small bearing pretty small motor really um, but yeah look at the status size I mean it's an 07 so what do you expect from an 07 well a mil more than an 06 don't you there's a 2206 motor and I mean you can s hopefully you can see the extra I'll put it top and then bottom you can see the extra mil in the state in the state of there so um, yeah 07 size, 14 um, across, so, uh, well, I mean, by here you'll see 18, in here you'll see, you know, you'll see what you want to see, but that's um, technically going from there to there, um, yeah, anyway, so basically, a f yeah, 1407 size motor, uh, I'll link the, th the thrust tables that have been done by um, by my RC Mark themselves until some third party guys have done any. And I'll also do the obligatory weight test as well. So, um, 11407 with the kind of wire length that I would use. 13.84 grams. Okay. 13 gram motor. Yeehaw. 
Um, yeah, so I'll quickly just shove this C clip back on. Um, you, you really do want to do this in a bag as well. It's, um, as you, you know, the last thing you want to do is lose one of these little clips. It's a, be a pain in the ass to try and find. And, uh, so that's what they look like on a frame. This is a little, a little 150 millimeter frame. No, I think this is a Diatone Innovations um, 150. And that's what the motors look like on it. Damn cute. I mean, I think this thing's going to be quite fast and powerful with these sort of little motors and stuff. It's going to be really fun for some indoor sort of tracks, like go-karting tracks and um, just general indoor sort of stuff. Not inside the house still. Like, I think we're going to get to, like, the 100, 120 size for, for in-house. But for yeah, inside tracks, I think this is going to be pretty damn fun. So, um, there you go. There's a quick little look over the RCX uh, 1407s. Worth checking out, I guess, if you're into the micros. Uh, this is my first sub-180 build. So, first 150 build. It's going to be tight. I'm still trying to work out what camera I'm going to get in there how I'm going to mount everything and it's sort of just boggling my mind a bit but it'll be worth it it'll be nice and fun and um, I'll get some flight footage up for you soon okay see you on the next one